welcome to my channel, Kyrex Heart. Today, I'm going to show you how I make my realistic drawings. Here is my recent drawing. It's Billie Eilish. Uh, before that, I'd like to apologize to, to MLP fans. Uh, I'm gonna finish my Little Pony characters after this one. So, okay, going back here. I chose Billie Eilish because recently, I've been listening to her songs and watching her music videos and a little bit of her background story. At first, I was taken aback because I wasn't expecting her song to be a little bit dark and kind of serious. Because when I hear her song and I look at her, honestly, they don't really match. I mean, when I hear her song, I imagine her looking like around mid-twenties or looking more mature. I didn't expect that she's only in her in her teens. She's just a teenager. I think she started out, uh, I think, around 14, 14 or 15 years old. And she's, and she's really different from other teenager artists. You know, the girly girly type, wearing tight clothes and showing skin. Billie Eilish is really different. She wears uh, loose clothes. It's kind of boyish. And she also wears... Um, I saw her... I saw a video when she attended, attended her an art exhibit, her own art, art exhibit. I don't know what it's called. It's like an event. It's like um, uh, expressing through art the feeling at the time she was writing a certain song. On that event, she's wearing wearing clothes. She, she's all covered up, and only her face was showing. And I really love that about her because it's it's pure talent without doing sexy stuff to attract people. You know, I stumbled upon her, pala because YouTube keeps recommending Billie Eilish videos so I got curious and decided to watch uh, music videos and listen to her songs she reminds me of Amy Winehouse because of the mixing of different kind of music genre and a little bit of her voice also and she also reminded me a little bit of Bjork maybe because of the electronic music and the first song that I love is the song Lovely Perhaps you've heard of it already because it's really, really popular. And it's amazing how they sang that song. It's Khalid and Billie Eilish together. And the voice, they express different kind of emotions. Like Khalid sounds like... Sounds like... He was like currently grieving, like wailing, crying. Uh, while Billie Eilish is expressing like someone who's tired of crying. You know the feeling when her tears have dried up because of crying for so long. And I can feel the the agony, the sadness. They're really amazing. If you haven't heard of it, go check it out. It's a beautiful song. So going back to the drawing. <laughs> as, I, as you can see here, there's grids on the paper. Can you see it? Yeah, I mean grids. Uh, in grids, that's my guide. To know. It's, a guide, it's my guide to know the exact position of the eyes, the nose and the lips. And because most of the time I make mistakes in locating the exact position of the eyes so I use this technique, the grids. but some of the artists, they don't like using this kind of technique because they say it's cheating <laughs> well it's up to you if you want to use it there's nothing wrong of using this kind of technique it's not like you committed a crime <laughs> so my image reference is this one I'm gonna show you, hold on where is it? this one this is from her latest album, Happier Than Ever as you can see, the photo has grids also. I did this on my computer and the program that I used is Adobe Illustrator. If you don't know how to use it, uh, you can just print the photo. I chose this image because uh, she's really different on this one. Uh, I'm used to the look uh, to see her uh, wearing boyish clothes and uh, dark hair. And this time, it's really different. Maybe it's because she's already in her 20s. And she's all grown up <laughs> and I love that song happier than ever it's very unique when I watch the music video um, check it out the music video is really um, beautiful how do I, ex I, ex I how do I explain this when I watch it it's uh, it started out with a very mellow a slow songs song and then suddenly it changes in the middle up until to the end and I had goosebumps <laughs> when I saw that music video like the time she opened the door and there's water entered the house and she swam 
to the roof. It's really amazing. And the music, the song is amazing. It's very creative. That's the exact word. Very, very creative. And what else? <laughs> so going back to my drawing, it's just I wanted to ex to share with you how amazing is Billie Eilish, how talented she is, and her brother also, because they collaborated in creating songs. I think I heard about it when I searched about her. You see, Finn is your brother now. And uh, what else? Um, going back to my drawing now. Okay, let's go back. <laughs> so going back, I'm gonna show it to you the paper that I'm using. Pala. This one is this uh, Stratmore Bristol Smooth Surface. Uh, I bought this in Shopee. I don't know the exact price when you buy it in stores like some mall or some national bookstore, some art supplies. I don't know the price, but this I bought this around 500 plus pesos. And I think it's almost 600 pesos now uh, for me. It's so it's very expensive for me, but some some but some some of you you will say it's okay price, but for me it's very expensive. But it it's worth it, naman, because the quality is so good. And I searched it that uh, this is the perfect uh, sketch pad for using for artists who use colored pencils. And because this is expensive, this is just the second time that I'm using it. The first one is Venom. If you haven't seen it, the drawing of Venom, please check it out. If you like it, please put a like. <laughs> Leave a like on my video. And what else? Um, back then, when I haven't discovered this paper, I'm using this one, Canson sketch pad. It's just an ordinary sketch pad. It's very thin and it's cheaper. I bought this around 150 to 200 pesos and it's 50 sheets already. Uh, when I make a mistake, it's really difficult to fix it anymore. Ayun nga, I'm really afraid to use dark colors on this paper. Ayun, again, because when you make a mistake, it's over. You can't fix it anymore. You have to start all over again. So when I erase something and start to do rendering again, the paper is kind of damaged already. So the uh, colored pencil it doesn't work na, hindi na siya, it doesn't appear anymore sa paper. Ayun. So pag ginamit ko yung uh, Stratmore Bristol, when I use the Stratmore Bristol, uh, I don't have a problem in fixing parts when I make a mistake. So if you're planning to pursue drawing, just keep drawing, okay? I believe everyone can draw. It just needs practice. So keep practicing. Don't practicing. Don't give up. So this is the only thing that I can share to you for today. I think I can finish this maybe a week or two. Uh, I will update you on my progress. Maybe after three days, I'll go live to show my drawing and share more background stories that I learned about the Danish. And I was planning to do a live, really, on this one, but. I didn't know that you have to activate your live on YouTube, so I have to wait 24 hours so I can't wait anymore. I need to upload a video on YouTube. So thank you for watching. If you like my video, please like and subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet to my, to my channel. So bye bye. Thank you for watching.